This is a comparison between anterior and posterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Let's start with anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. On examination, you'll see optic disc edema or pallor, and that's distinct for the anterior version and not in posterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Anterior is more common than posterior, and it's caused by hypoperfusion to vessels supplying the anterior part of the optic nerve. Some risk factors include increased intraocular pressure, orbital venous pressure, hypotension, and hemodilution during surgeries. It's common in procedures like coronary bypass, spine surgery, and thoracoabdominal aortic surgeries. Next is the posterior ischemic optic neuropathy. There's no optic disc edema that you would have seen on the anterior side. It's less common, as we said, and it's believed to be caused by reduced oxygen delivery to the retrolaminar part of the optic nerve. It's more commonly associated with spine surgeries and surgeries involving the neck, nose, and sinuses, and it prevents with an afferent pupillary defect or a non-reactive pupil. There are some common features of both. They both involve sudden unilateral painless vision loss and can present with afferent pupillary defects. They're both associated with surgical procedures, as we said, whereas this one's uh, more associated with pressure during the surgical procedure that increases your intraocular pressure and orbital venous pressure.